Extend a warm welcome to each one of you to the second edition of World Food India 2023. Today, we convene in a nation where the journey of growth and innovation has been nothing short of prolific. With the booming economy and the achievements of significant milestones, India stands today as a land of plenty, the land of opportunities, sharing the global food value chain with a rich resource base. In light of a celebration of 2023 as an international year of millets, and to bring the global food processing industry together, the Ministry of Food Processing Industries proudly presents the second edition of World Food India 2023. Our journey commences with an exciting exploration of a country session featuring the Japan. India and Japan have shared a profound and enduring friendship marked by a history of collaborations in various sectors. As we delve into the session, we aim to strengthen and celebrate this symbiotic relationship, recognizing the shared potential for growth and innovation that it holds. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming the Honorable Ambassador of Japan to India, his Excellency, Mr. Hiroshi Suzuki, to kindly share invaluable vision with us. Please. Shurimati Anita Kravin, Secretary, Ministry of Food Processing Industries. Representatives from uh, Japanese prominent companies participating in World Food India 2023. Dear guests, ladies and gentlemen. Dear you all, Sajano, Namaskar. Meranam Hiroshi Suzuki, Men Baratme. Japanka Rajput Hu. As Japanese ambassador, this is my first time to come to this Prabhati Madam after the G20 summit. So first and foremost, congratulations for a historic success of G20 summit. Now, this beautiful venue is befitting to host World Food India 2023, which was inaugurated by Prime Minister Modi two days ago. And I am so happy that this important food event, World Food India, is taking place now after the big interval of COVID. The timing is most opportune because India is achieving remarkable economic growth. And with the economic growth comes more interests in food. Indian people want to enjoy more diverse food, more healthy food, and of course, more safe and secure food fresh food, high quality food, and easy to eat food. And Japanese food, Japanese companies can provide all these. They are the perfect match for the Indian market because Japanese food, washoku, is diverse. Japanese food uses fresh ingredients, and Japanese food are healthy. Japanese companies in food industries, they are working very hard, day in and day out, to meet the needs of consumers. And they are really upbeat in coming into the Indian market. They have the high technology, for example, refrigerating, freezing technologies, logistics, and sales know-how, to just name a few, which are all critical in constructing food value chain. So Japanese companies are natural partners for India. Today, we're going to have presentations 
from seven prominent companies from Japan. First is House Shopping. House is a family household name in Japan. If you ask any Japanese, they all, say, they all know, oh, house, yes, I like that. So please look forward to presentation from House Shopping. Next, we have Royal of Japan. Royal is really promoting very selected, best of the best Japanese uh, food stuff to India. And of course, uh, they are doing business all over the world. And then we have uh, Nissan Steel Industry, which is uh, providing fresh mama, which is like a magical film to, I, I think the details we explained, but important thing is Prime Minister Modi knows this magical film because actually the first time around for the food festival, Prime Minister Modi himself visited the booth. So this technology is amazing and it contributes greatly to the reduction of food loss. Next we have uh, Ozak Company. This is the first ever in India of promoting plant-based food. And so, you know, Indian people, there are so many of Indian people are vegetarian, and all the products uh, Ozak is uh, promoting, they are all based uh, in plant-based food. So uh, we look forward to the presentation. And then we have Hasura. Hasura-san is uh, promoting uh, agricultural products and Japanese food stuff which are very healthy and uh, they don't use uh, uh, chemical or any other uh, agricultural artificial uh, fertilizers. And then we have Hamada Global Trading, which is promoting Japanese green tea chiran and they are importing this quality green tea from Kagoshima. So, Hope uh, many more Indian people will come to enjoy best green tea from Japan. Finally, but not in the least, we have Yakuto. I'm sure many of you must have had Yakuto, but uh, you know we want to promote this uh, very healthy probiotics drinks, which is both tasty to drink and good for your health. So. Please uh, look for their presentations today. And uh, so, uh, all in all, in addition to the seven Japanese companies, we have 20 booths uh, in the Japan Pavilion. So, uh, as much as your time allows, please go visit their booth. We have so many more booths, so many more varieties of Japanese food, and uh, uh, please enjoy. And you can actually taste uh, some of the Japanese food. So in closing, uh, please listen attentively to their presentations. And when you go back home, please just remember one thing. Japanese banjan bohot tasty hair. Thank you, sir, for sharing your insights for the food processing industry and for surely we would be listing the Japanese food. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Srimati Anita Praveen, Secretary, Ministry of Food Processing Industry, Government of India. Ma'am, we request you to please kindly share the invaluable vision with us. Thank you so much. Excellency Ambassador Mr. Hiroshi, other speakers for the day. Most important was the Japanese food industry representatives who are here. Participants, ladies and gentlemen. 
Excellency, had I known you would be using so much of Hindi, I would have tried learning some Japanese for the day. But my bad, I must say, I missed out on the opportunity. But thank you so much. The words spoken by you are something that we recognize that yes, Japanese food is wonderful. And I can tell you, I have a big fan at home, which is my daughter. So <laughs> I understand the food really attracts, and it is healthy, of course. As far as this event today is concerned, I'm really happy that we are at the Japan Country Session. We have been, the two countries have been great friends all along. And it's a matter of pride and happiness that to welcome you here for the session. We look forward to further developing this relationship. This is not just that we've reached a point of stagnation and we want to just be happy where we are. It's time to push for the growth of the relationship. Our strategic Special Strategy can go Global Partnership and Indo-Japan Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement. These have given a lot of interaction in terms of trade between the two countries. And uh, we know when we have some special requirements where to rely on. We always have Japan to back us up in special supplies, the steel that we've learned, the good quality steel that we get and what we get in terms of cars. All that we've seen now is done for the food because India is opening up as far as food senses are concerned. We in India have a variety of food. Of course, Ambassador, you must have tried quite a bit. And all of you, I hope you got a chance to try it in the food street, all the Japanese guests who are here. So India does have a lot of variety in terms of food, but we have woken up to the international tastes now. And Japanese food is really something that we love to uh, try and we love to have it on a very frequent basis, I must say. Japan could look at India very seriously in terms of being a very great supplier of food stuff from here. The fact remains that Indian agriculture, Indian fisheries, the animal husbandry, dairy, every sector has grown tremendously. And we've had large production levels achieved. In fact, we are number one in quite a few categories. We have a large amount to feed, but we also have surplus available. And we would really want those to be not sent out as raw food, but processed food from here. I don't say that we don't want the Japanese companies to process. I say you're most welcome to come and set up your units in India. Processing in India is what we are hoping for. And that is what I'm sure will bring prosperity to both the sides. The idea that we can use fresh food, raw material to process and to produce packaged food is the best rather than sending raw food which kind of nutritionally degrades a little bit by the time it reaches its processing units in faraway places. So your destination should be India for investment. Your destination should be India to supply good quality food as well. We understand you are excellent in technology. And we in India are looking forward to having that kind of technology to help our industry to grow. And I hope that this World Food India has given you an opportunity to meet with Indian side and the Japanese side has had enough opportunity to discuss about business because that's the whole idea with which this event has been conceived. My mis misfortune today that I will be missing the presentations. I hope I get an emailed copy of the presentations which I can go through. But the fun can never be the same by if you're not present here. But unfortunately, because the Honorable President is going to be inaugurating, uh, sorry, uh, coming for the valedictory session today, we are supposed to do the drill as it is required because it has to be precision that we follow while we receive her and we uh, go through the motion for the evening today. So I will be required in the uh, Bharat Mandapam today. But my, what I'll miss out today, I hope I'll make, out, make up the next year. Look forward to seeing you again next year in the World Food India 2024 which we hope we'll organize as big and rather bigger than what we have today. So thank you so much for having me in this session and have a great session today. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am, for sharing your vision and insights for the food processing industries. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Please join me in welcoming Mr. Anirudh Gupta, Technical Partner of Anastasia Nyan LLP, who has made remarkable contributions in the realm of sustainable food systems. Sir. Good morning, respected His Excellency Hiroshi Suzuki, Honorable Secretary Ma'am, our esteemed dignitaries and distinguished guests. I am deeply honored and extend my gratitude to have the opportunity to speak our, uh, and present our views at the, uh, at the World Food India 2023 event today. While India and Japan, uh, we over the years, not just over the years, but even over, over centuries, share a deep cultural and civilizational bonds. Uh, you know, but along with that, we also have significant economies, growing economies, and have been uh, co-investors in each other's progress, and that's what we look forward to. Uh, the food processing industry in India, it plays a crucial role in our economy, not just in providing substantial opportunities in terms of employment for a uh, major uh, part of our population, but also in ensuring the food security for the uh, population. Just recently we were uh, reading uh, certain articles about the fruit processing industry up north and how uh, you know almost 70 percent of the fruit that is produced is used in processing and 30 percent gets consumed directly. And if you look at the industry as such, it contributes almost 1.5 percent to the gross value of our country. And uh, the whole sector was valued at over 2 lakh crores rupees in 21-22. And if we look at the FDI that came into the industry over the last decade, it was more than 6.2 billion dollars. So it has a tremendous growth potential. We understand uh, Japanese companies, a uh, lot of which we know, I mean Yakult and many others and several others which we we'll get to know over the years, they have been investing in India in different sectors including technology, including infrastructure. Japanese are synonymous investments in India with technology. We all know about technology and we look forward to the industries bringing in uh, you know, investments in eco-friendly packaging and uh, other related technologies into India. And that will be a major area also to contribute while they are in India. So, uh, in India, we already have more than 1400 Japanese country, uh, companies that are already doing business. Our uh, global uh, bilateral trade was almost 22 billion dollars. And uh, out of this, the food processing sector itself was more than a billion dollars. So while this has been there, there is a huge upside that is possible. From a government perspective, uh, India has established 24 new mega food parks. We have 285 state-of-the-art cold chain infrastructure facilities that have been set up, 19 agro-processing clusters and 150 advanced food testing laboratories all of which are important in terms of providing a base for the uh, investments and the infrastructure. And uh, with this, I thank you for the opportunity and sum up and we look forward to the presentations today and seeing how best we can grow together. Thank you so much. sharing a vision and insights for the food processing industries. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming the speakers from Japanese companies as they take the floor to enlighten us with their insights and experiences. Firstly, I would like to call upon the Japanese company House Shokugin. Sir, please.
nuggets are also being sold at the non-Japanese restaurant and supermarket and in early 2021. Uh, McDonald's, McDonald's in UK will be selling Katsukari nuggets for a limited time. So there is no sign that the Katsukari boom is going to end. Japanese style curry tops the best traditional dishes in the world 2022 list. Uh, compared to uh, people in uh, India curries, uh, Indian curries, Japanese style curry is less spicy, uh, sweeter, and darker, and usually thicker, which is thanks to the addition of bra or roux. Uh, about curry roux, uh, easy to cook cuts curry sauce. Uh, curry roux is a mixture of bra. Uh, fats and oil, branded spices, seasonings, etc. <coughs> that is thoroughly heated and then cooled into solid foam boiled in the pan. It simply creates a thick curry sauce. Curry, curry will have positive points. One is easy to arrange and can be used as a variety of curry bases. And two, it can be made it in less than 30 minutes. And three, uh, it's easy to store shape. Uh, we introduce our product to Kari uh, This is Pond Kari. Uh, this is a uh, long term number one Kari brand in Japan. Uh, Metal Kari made with apple and honey. Uh, from young children to adults, it is Kari that everyone can enjoy. Uh, this is Jao Kari. Uh, this is number two brand in Japan. This curry has a spicy curry, spicy and brown, uh, curry brand aimed at adults. Uh, a deep and spicy curry made with a rich onion uh, that is available in India. <clears throat> what do uh, people in the India think of you? Uh, we done a uh, survey uh, these days. Uh, people of India uh, feel uh, the jaw curry. Uh, that is, uh, taste is 8.9. Uh, overall, the taste is good, but uh, left a little spice and the color is too dark. And uh, easy of use, uh, point of the ease of use. A very basic recipe and easy to use uh, prepare and uh, very easy to use the product hence making the creative method was not hard and time spent time spent less than 30 minutes uh, from this survey uh, we feel that you will be accepted in India uh, thank you for the time <laughs> thank you <laughs> Thank you, sir, for sharing your insights about the food processing systems. Now, I would like to uh, call upon the Japanese company, Royal of Japan. Please come. Good morning, everyone. My name is Eli, and I will be presenting Royal of Japan for today. First of all, I would like to thank His Excellency, Mr. Ambassador, for this opportunity to explain about our business. We are Royal of Japan. We are distributor of food since 1969 in Japan. We are mainly a consolidator, so we don't produce any product. Uh, the company uh, was uh, established in 1969. In 1978, Nippon Chemical Sales uh, started importing wines. And then in 1994, NCS bought Royal of Japan. In January 2013, we established Royal of Japan in Dubai because our business grow a lot in the MENA in the area. And hopefully soon we can establish Royal of Japan in India when the business will grow. Uh, we work with several suppliers across Japan. We have around 10,000 items to supply from dry, frozen, chilled, fresh. Everything you ask from Japan, we can supply it. 
even plates, equipment, knife for the all the sushi chef. Also, we have a big range of confectionery products from Japan. Now it's trending the worldwide, the limited edition items, uh, especially only for Japan. So new generation want to try such uh, uh, flavor, new flavors. We do the container planning for our clients. We do the consolidation in our warehouses, the shipping uh, for fresh product. Within two or three days, we can deliver fresh product from uh, the fish market in Japan, especially all the fresh uni, scallops, tuna. We do the documentation, uh, labeling, translation. Uh, we have, for example, special labeling for India, for the rules and the regulation in India. Uh, we do the loading. Also, we do sales training for our clients to help them to understand more the product because we believe if they understand the product, they can sell it more. Uh, also, we have a big range of network in Japan. We work with more than 500 suppliers and manufacturers inside Japan, and our list is more than 10,000 items. We always in a research for new products and new markets. Our goal is to grow with our suppliers so our, uh, and our customers. Both of them, we consider them as our partners. We want to spread the real Japanese food to the world. So we believe that uh, high quality food is essential to tourism. It's linked together. So when you have good quality restaurant, more tourists will come and spend money in the countries. Our strength is the long experience of food and food. <coughs> And we try to meet our customers' needs as much as possible. We have a lot of poss uh, we believe that there is a lot of possibility in the India market. We've been doing business in India for two years, and we see it that it's an amazing market. Now uh, we export to more than 45 countries all over the world, in uh, Europe, USA, Middle East, Africa, Australia. We have a huge range, as I mentioned before. Uh, also, we have all kinds of beverage, sake, uh, Japanese beer, Japanese uh, whiskey. And this is our dry selection. As I said, we don't produce anything. We are just consolidators, so we can work with all the manufacturers in Japan. Also, we have the frozen selection. It's a very big selection, very high quality product. This is the confectionery range that we export. It's very unique. You cannot find it anywhere else in the world. So this is make it very attractive for the clients. Warehouse, uh, we can do everything uh, according. It's a tailor-made solution. So whatever the client needs, we can do it in our warehouse. So that's it. It's a short uh, presentation because we don't manufacture anything. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for sharing the insights. Now I would like to call upon the Japanese company, <coughs> Nissan City. Please, sir. Fresh mark. Then I 
the uh, this ship. Uh, together with the uh, disaster industry and Marvel uh, say to it uh, to the world. So this ship have a two function. Uh, one is uh, the again degradation function, uh, second is the microbiome suppression function. This ship, fresh mama, complementary the composite ethylene. Ethylene has is an aging form for the all fruits and vegetables. Uh, then, uh, HN exchanged to the water and carbon dioxide. Second function work in the, this uh, water. water uh, pure water uh, generated by the HN and uh, pure water uh, spreads the uh, germination of the food test for at first, uh, I have done the ethylene road test using the 100 ppm ethylene. 80% of ethylene gas decomposed uh, within the 3 hours. After the 24 hours, all ethylene decomposed. Uh, this sheet made to a low ethylene environment in the product. This uh, low ethylene con concentration is uh, important for the uh, vegetable and fruit. In the case of the tomato storage test, control and uh, polyethylene bag test pot uh, show uh, like uh, blue bars day by day ethylene accumulate. But uh, red bar is a fresh mama data, and fresh mama suppress uh, ethylene accumulation. And uh, this sheet suppresses uh, uh, yellow ring, tomato, <coughs> and uh, the combustion of the sugar content and acidity. Yeah. Next, I focus on the uh, suppression of the spore germination. Uh, early stage of the spore germination have three steps. Non-swelling, swelling, and germination. One germination research uh, report to the pure water uh, stop the second step, the swelling. This one produces uh, pure water. Pure water uh, stop the uh, aging or <coughs> some other good work. Yes. Example, uh, in the case of the uh, mascot status, mascot, uh, fresh mom keeps the uh, fresh mascot for the uh, 150 days at the five days. In the case of the light store test in India, uh, light fruits transported by truck uh, from the Munda Park to Mumbai for three days. Uh, in the control test box, uh, light fruits were big damage. About the, uh, it's a food loss. 38%. But uh, fresh mouth put on the rice fruit and transport. Then, food loss is a zero. Next, uh, in the case of the apple sorbet, uh, first set of the uh, apple aging beginning with the acidity decomposition. We use uh, three uh, variations of apple. It's a saline and uh, pomio and food. They are uh, decomposed uh, acidity. So about uh, 20 to 40 percent. 
But this one keeps the uh, more data. This one keeps the uh, 70 to 100,000 keeps the acid. And the second uh, aging step of the aging of the apple uh, is the weight reduction and permanent uh, changes. This one also the, uh, keeps the 100% permanent uh, with the weight of the apple. More than uh, 230 days after zero degrees. Uh, upper side is a uh, uh, control test spot. Control test spot has uh, rotten apples, two rotten apples. But fresh one keeps the uh, looks good compared with the uh, control spot. Yeah, this is the uh, last slide. We will support the uh, exporting Indian product with uh, our technology and uh, we will change our uh, Indian into the world by uh, exporting power. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir, for sharing your experiences and the development of the products. Now, I would like to call upon the Japanese company, Ozak Corporation. Yes, uh, hi, everyone. Thank, uh, first of all, thank you for the uh, uh, Japan Embassy and then uh, GIID to give us uh, uh, these fantastic opportunities. Uh, we, um, of Miyaki Tanaka from Ozaks Corporation. Uh, let me just uh, give you a little bit of uh, the our company profile the first, and then I'll explain what we are here and then, uh, uh, what we, our product is. Uh, this, uh, this is our policy. Uh, we will approach various future through the creation of new values. And then uh, this is our action guide. Uh, we call it 3C in Japan, and it's change, challenge, create. And uh, uh, this is our, our brief of our uh, company profile. Our company established in 1910, so it's over 100 years old companies. And then our capital is over 5 million. Our sales is uh, 5 million JPY. And uh, uh, sales is 7, what, 78 billion approximately in Japanese yen. And then we have 18 sales hires and a distribu distribution of 8 over all, the, all over Japan. And then we have over uh, 400 over 8 breweries in the in entire group. And then we have uh, in our business, we have four main businesses in Japan. Uh, one is the material solution division. This is what we started in business. Uh, our original business was paper companies. We were paper distributors first. So we are the uh, Asian or the distributor for the, uh, Japan paper first. And then uh, from the paper, uh, we developed a new businesses. And then uh, uh, now, this is belong, I'm, I'm belong here for the life cycle solution division. This is what we do for our distribution for Japanese uh, Food industries. Uh, this is the domestic basis. So uh, we have, uh, because our customer is Japanese uh, local and food industries clients, we have uh, sales branches from Hokkaido to Okinawa, so covered all over Japan. And also the distribution network from the all over Japan from Hokkaido to Okinawa. And then this is the only the ambient, but we also have a cold chain uh, covered all over Japan. Uh, this is the, our overseas. We have overseas branches. We have single. Uh, Shanghai, Taiwan, Singapore, Malaysia, but unfortunately not in India. So uh, hopefully we have like, some uh, branches in India as well. Also, this is the main products of what we start, so material solution division. So we are su uh, supplying the paper. It's a big roll of papers to supply. This. So maybe like some of the pokies. This is one of the famous uh, Japanese nut. So we supply the paper like big roll to the uh, pokies. It's, it, and then uh, they create the, uh, cartons in Japan. They also supply the uh, cartons for the McDonald's and then uh, some other uh, for QSR. And then this is uh, our my division. It's called the life cycle division. So targeting on the food, uh, fast food QSR and the delicacy and the cinema the supermarket. So uh, we supply the food and non-food to these customers in Japan, even uh, including the distribution. 
Uh, also, the uh, restaurants, canteens, Japan Park, and then Brazil. So, this is the uh, overall uh, business. We have uh, a business with 42 companies, top of top 150, and then the multiplex of 8 out of 10. And then the fast food. So, we have uh, basically covered all the first, first major companies in Japan. So, uh, we have a big business in Japan, but, but why are we here? Uh, we are seeking export opportunity from Japan to India. Uh, so we are uh, looking for our business partners who can help us import and then distribute our products to India. And the second mission here is looking for a new supplier because we have like, a variety of Japanese customers in Japan. Looking for a new supplier to our customers in Japan. This is the second mission. So our, our products, our proposal products to the India market, so we are presenting this uh, through the exhibition today, is uh, best, class, best class quality food from Japan to uh, pure veggies. So it's PBM. So uh, no meat, no, no, no meat, no fish, no eggs. So we have two lines, two, uh, two categories. Uh, one is frozen. We call that uh, steamed bath nikuman in Japanese, but uh, not momos in India. So we but uh, we start with a PBM, and then just put it in the steamer, it's a frozen, just put it in the steamer, so it will be like very delicious momos. And then also, this is the, uh, this is also momos, we call it gyoza in Japanese. Uh, this could be deep fried, stir fried, or steamed, and this comes from frozen. And then we have other uh, uh, categories, it's ambient. Our shelf life is two years after production, it could be stored in ambient, and then uh, just ready to eat. Just so after, uh, this is the pouch um, we are having today. So just put in the hot water for, let's say, three or five minutes. Then that meal is ready. Just open the pouch, ready to eat. And then, so we have the curry sauce. This is the one of our challenges, because like, India is a curry country, and then uh, a Japanese curry. I'm not sure if it's good or not. But uh, fortunately, uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, people visit our booth, and then uh, give us a good feedback on our curries. And then we also have like brownie sauce and a carbonara sauce, which is the pasta sauce. Uh, it's an Italian sauce, but no, see, this is a pure vegan, so you can, you can try. So then, this is what makes our product special. Uh, we are, uh, our plant-based meat is come from Australia. It's a company called B2 Food. It's, they are the Australian leading plant, uh, plant protein companies. Then we are the sole distributors of plant-based uh, B2 food in Japan market. So we use this means and then process and convert into Japanese style food. Then also we have uh, local partners. Is they give us a, a special uh, beige oil, give us a more flavors and taste to the uh, products itself. So these uh, two combine together in Japan and then give us a tasty and a more convenient food. So a short presentation. Uh, so this, because it's food, it's not just listening. Maybe they try to come visit us and they eat, eat up uh, eat our food. So this is D D zero two D. Thank you for thank you for your time. Thank you, sir, for sharing your company's profile and the products. We would ensure that we would obviously visit your stores. Coming up, I would like to call upon the Japanese company Kajora India. Please come. She is still alive, but she is still suffering 
India for mixed market. And also because uh, there are uh, uh, still less opportunity for Indian to experience or learn about Japanese food and Japanese culture, we also like organize some workshop to teach them to enjoy Japanese food culture, very like uh, simple like, like food cooking. Uh, people want to know how to make miso soup or how to use miso or how to make some like beautiful Japanese food, but people are not sure how to do. So we are also like uh, supporting and getting the opportunity to make people to have a good experience <coughs> with the food. So for example, that's good. And a lot of people think Japanese food is only no best, but it's not true. So there are a lot of like cuisine by using only like vegetable. So we also like teach or like share something they don't know, but later on they can also enjoy the food. And also like uh, those like the miso or sauce or koji, the uh, fermentation culture is one of the like um, food culture from Japan. And now more people are interested in those uh, culture in Japan. So we are also like telling them how to teach them. Uh, of course those those products are coming from Japan but at the same time so we are trying to make and grow in India also, so that more people can access Asia. So we also like um, introduce and we also excel as well in India. And also, um, we are looking at the healthy tea from Japan. So for example, the bottle tea, it's a like root vegetable. It has a lot of beneficial for your the body. It detoxes your body, or like it's very good for your skin, or it's good for your swimming. But there are also a lot of green tea, right? It's not only green tea, but there are different type of tea. So we are also promote and market those tea and it's next year. So we are trying to bring it to India as well. And so, also, uh, since so me and my sister, we are co founder, and our start up journey in India is very challenging, but we still have a mission, and we really want to achieve, and we really want to make a better impact on society. So, right now, so we are looking for the full support from everyone, and number one is we are looking for the technology partner. Because uh, to ensure flexibility, we need to make sure transparency of the supply chain. So we have to build a good technology to show the whole supply chain using some QR or maybe blockchain technology. So any anytime customer can access those information. So I really need to build this technology, but like my company are looking for technology partner. So number two, so farmers network to be, to grow our like initiative. So definitely, I have to work with more farmers in India. So uh, I really looking for expert of that. And number three, of course, sales collaboration. Not only with us, but like I think we all are looking for a good sales collaboration to promote Japanese products because only one company is not able to do that. So that's why we would like to you know, create a better community in order to promote a Japanese product. And then number three, so uh, we are looking for funding. So uh, if we know any big investors, so we are so happy to connect with them. So last, uh, so <coughs> has sort of bridge between Japan and the India relationship. And uh, again, so we've been here for more than 10 years. So this is the time that Japan and the India can work together more to make a better relationship. And I, um, I have strong belief that Japan and India will have a much better, strong relations for the future. And Hasora 
really willing to contribute to make this happen. And then I think this cannot be happen only by me. So I'm so happy to work all together to make fun and in the relationship much bigger. So thank you so much for the <laughs> Thank you, Ram, for sharing your company's food profiles, the food products, and the services look really amazing and young. Now, moving on, I would like to call upon the Japanese company, Hamada Global. Namaste and konnichiwa to everyone present here. So, I am Hema Shri. I am representing Hamada Global Trading. I am the director of the company in India. So today we stand at a juncture between two great cultures, but we are united by one common thing, which is chai or ocha. So I am honored to introduce like Hamada Global Trading with a brand called Chiran. So Chiran is a name straight from the hills of Kagoshima. So in <coughs> India, where tea is not just a drink, but a ritual that weaves together the diverse tapestry of all the states, we find a kindred spirit. So today we seek to become a part of this India's grand tea narrative. So, so our story began about 50 years ago in the lush landscapes of Chiran with a pioneer who was keen on exporting green tea to the world. So Hamada Tea Company started in 1975. We started with humble beginnings as tea sellers to now having our first subsidiary abroad in India. We have come a long way through continuous research and improvement in our work, protecting the essence of Japanese tea making crafts and traditions with the support of our customers and our community. We are now the biggest suppliers of green tea in the domestic market of Japan. And we export, ex export internationally to several countries. So as a testament to our quality, we have won several numerous awards on international platforms every year, like Paris Tea Selection Awards and Nihon Cha Awards in Japan. So Hamada Tea Company is more than just a brand. It's a legacy steeped in tradition, quality, innovation, creating memorable tea experiences one cup at a time. I would like to introduce to you Hamada Shuhe, who is not with us today. So he is a tea master in Japan who overlooks the company. He's the third generation uh, CEO of Japan. So because in autumn there is tea harvesting happening in Japan, he is very busy there, so I am representing him. So why us? So to simply put, we are the masters in all things relating to Japanese teas. So the speciality of Chiran tea is that it is steamed twice. So when you look at our tea, it is green, it is not yellow. So if you notice, Indian tea tends, green tea tends to be yellow. So, but ask this deep steam and yeah, that's Mr. Hamada. So, I'll introduce our Indian subsidiary where we plan to introduce the beauty of variety of Japanese teas to the Indian audience. So, there is a negative preconception that green tea is bitter, but that is not true. A good quality green tea is not bitter. So, we are based in Gurgaon and we have an office in Bangalore. We are a newly launched brand three months ago and we are on Amazon and our own websites. So I'll just introduce some products which we have created for the Indian audience. So the Indian market is full of possibilities with a demand for quality and authenticity and a youth that is very health conscious. So the Indian tea lover is evolving, seeking not just comfort in that cup, but also a taste of the world.
So as such, we have curated specially for India with our matcha latte and bodhicha latte. With we have not added sugar, but we've added jaggery. So and it is very simple, ready to use. So instead of going to a Starbucks, you can make it at home. So a green tea milk based drink, very similar to our chai, but with green tea. So our most popular is matcha latte. which all the youngsters really like now with the growing culture of making india we make the packaging in india branding this is for india for our customers in india so we also have a variety of tea bags not just green tea but something similar to a coffee but also green so we call it roasted green tea which is hoji cha that is also becoming very popular because it looks something very similar to our coffee but it tastes very different and it smells beautiful so on our b2b segment we also have various bulk products where we sell it directly from our japanese company to india or to other countries directly now there are some teas that are for the more evolved palate so like gyokuro and genmai cha so this these are teas that even like gyokuro japan is very expensive to drink so we want to introduce that kind of flavor to indians and uh, through our uh, various exhibitions we found out genmai cha is very popular in in india because it smells very nice from the roasted brown rice so everyone is curious to know brown rice and tea okay what is that so they taste it and they like this is so nice is so warm and comforting so we anticipate a future where chiran tea is a bridge a connection and a quiet moment of reflection in the busy lives of indians thank you arigato Thank you, ma'am, for sharing about your company. Now, I would like to call upon the Japanese company Yakult. Konnichiwa and namaste, everyone. I, Disha Pandey, I'm a proud employee of the Yakult, and I am very delighted that the Honorable Ministers of India and the Honorable Ambassador of Japan. has given us the opportunity to present yakult in this platform thank you so much for that <coughs> today i am present here to give a presentation and give you a knowledge about the probiotics what are the probiotics and what is yakult Let's start with a small discussion and interaction with you all. Who has been recently experienced a less restful sleep and the improve for their wakefulness night? Is there anyone who can who want to raise their hands? Oh, there are many. I can see that. Anyone from that side? <coughs> That's amazing. The next question would be. who wants to improve their skin condition many <laughs> many i can see that who wants to reduce stress in their work or personal life <laughs> oh <laughs> so the coffee is there who wants to improve allergies who wants to avoid catching a cold cough or oh, i can everyone say yes to that If you have raised hand in any of the questions which I have mentioned here, you should try our probiotics for this. It will really help you for these kind of problems which you are facing in your personal life. Let's start with the basic, uh, what I can say, the explanation of the probiotics. As for the word. you can see the definitions here live microorganism which when administered in adequate amount confirm a health benefit on the host 
as per the World Health Organization in the mid 2002, this definition has came up for the probiotics. Before probiotics has come up in the world, this world has already been existing in Japan. As I can see that it was not something which I can see that you have seen in 1935 the Yakult has already been launched in Japan and the probiotic has already come up in the world. Why this idea has come up in Japan? Why the founder of the Yakult, that is Dr. Minoru Shirota, has come up with this idea? As being a medical doctor, the scientific reason of the Yakult is to provide the preventive medicine to the, uh, to the Japanese population. The inventor of Yakult, Dr. Minoru Shirota, a Japanese medical doctor, he was born in 1899 in the Nagano, Japan. The country was very poor and had a very poor hygiene at that time. Many children has died Many children has been died from the dysentery and typhoid, which could be cured with the nutrition. Dr. Shirota was deeply saddened with that. Therefore, he focused on the preventive medicine and he come up with the name called Yakult. Furthermore, he devoted himself in the research of the cultivation of the good bacteria by the idea of using bacteria to control the good bacteria in our intestine and began to research a strong bacteria in it. He named the lecture Bacillus Casei strain Shirota after that. In 1935, he invented the LCS which we are already providing in the Yakult models. In India, 650 crores, in every 65 ml of bottle, we are carrying the 650 LCS bacteria in one bottle, right now. As you can see, the Yakult is a well-known brand in Japan. After introducing the wellness and the health benefit of the Yakult and the probiotics in Japan, the Yakult has started the overseas business also. The Yakult overseas business, including the characterized home delivery channel, began in Taiwan in 1964. We are now selling 40 countries and the reasons, and our Yakult products are consumed by more than 50 million people worldwide every day. As you can see the country's name and some of the cities of China, I can see that. So you can see how good the Yakult is growing. I can see how people are accepting the probiotics. What the effect of probiotics can give to your body, give to your health, give to your strength. As you can see by the Yakult distribution channel. In India, Yakult is allowed to claim that we are helping in building <coughs> immunity and improving in the digestion. This is our line for better immunity and digestion. Love your intestine with Yakult every day. This is our packaging in India, which we are which I am displaying in the uh, presentation right now. This you can see that. How we can focus on it? A basic question I can ask to my audience. Which part do you think that the important part of our body? Anyone can just answer. Anyone. Which part of the body do you think? Yeah, please sir. Oh, nice. You might be an emotional personality. I can say that. <laughs> what about the, like, any other, anyone, anyone? That's, that's great. Oh, amazing, sir. Amazing. That's what the answer I think I'm looking for. 
The sir is absolutely correct. Thank you so much, sir, for that. The intestine is also called the second brain of our body. The intestine has a flora in that. You might have heard, I think the Indians, Japanese, we all have come up from the, you know, the developing countries. They might have seen, the doctors always ask you about that. How is about your stomach? Is your stool is good? Is your motion is good? Why do doctors always ask this then? If brain is important, why they always ask, what's your health for your intestine, for your stomach? Yes, only because of intestine. All the bacteria, I'm not saying the good bacteria, all the bad bacteria, all the good bacteria are available in the intestine. That is the scientific thing of the intestine. It is very important to keep your intestine healthy to make your enzymes, to make your microorganism, to make your bacteria alive. As you can see, when we grow old, when we go, you know, in the upper stage of the life, our intestine or our digestion system goes up fluctuating. I can say that. The time when I was younger or when I was yet like a kid, I can digest anything. You can just give me anything, I can digest anything. But now, because of my busy life, because of my stress, I can say that, I can't do that. I can't keep myself healthy right now. But I think the time I know what probiotics can do with my body, I'm taking it every day and it is doing wonders to my body. As for the immunity, as for the digestion, they both are doing a good thing for me. So yes. What intestine do? A basic information in the world I have already written. Digesting food and absorbing nutrition. The second, absorbing water and producing pieces for the excretion. Protecting the body from the external enemies. I think these are the important parts a body needs it to work. Everything is connected from the intestine, your brain, your blood, your flow, everything is connected to by the picture, I would like you to make this thing understand what understand is doing with my body. The roots of this tree, you can see that. Half of the roots is already dried up. Half of the roots is very healthy and very long. And you can see the color of the roots. Very brown in that. What does it mean? Can anyone tell me what does it mean? Why I'm creating, why I am, I have posted this a photo, instead of anything I can just post it. Why I have connected the screen with the roots and everything? Can anyone just tell me this? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Yeah, uh, the healthy roots, uh, the side of the healthy tree. Yeah. And uh, on the other side, we have the unhealthy roots, uh, the leaves are the Exactly, I think the sir has already explained my things. Healthy intestine, healthy body. If your intestine is not healthy, that means your body is not responding the way you want for this time also or for your longer life. Our mission to make people in India and all around the world have a happy life and with the help of the probiotics. I think before we are good, I'm here to give you a knowledge for the probiotics. What probiotic is doing with our body. What this bacteria can do wonders with your body. The LCS which the Yakult is providing in the bottles, what that can do with your body. That is the important thing which I am here to mention it and to give you a small knowledge about my presentation. If you guys are interested, all the audience are requesting to everyone, thank you Honorable Ambassador, you have been to our board, thank you so much for that. If you have any query, any doubt of a distribution system, our presence in the world, in India, how we are doing the business, all the new faces in the business, I think you can take the introduction from our booth. Our booth number is D01D. You are really very welcome there. I really would like to see your faces in that world. Thank you so much for today. Thank you so much.
thank you, ma'am, for sharing about your food products and the services. I would like to express my gratitude to His Excellency, Honorable Master Sir, Mr. Hiroshi Suzuki, Secretary, Madam, uh, Ministry of Food Processing Industries, ma'am, Srimati Anita Prabhi, Mr. Anirudh Gupta, sir, for the invaluable vision and their time for the session. I would also like to thank our esteemed speakers and audience, without whom the session would not have been possible. Now, I request Mr. Nicole to please present a small gift to our esteemed guests and speakers.